Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I got a great question from a follower and I wanted to share it with you. It had to do with um, being a celiac or gluten sensitive, trying to avoid gluten and being a little confused about the label. So um, this gentleman had a few great questions. So one was, what's if something says it's gluten free, but it says it's processed in a plant that uh, is completely gluten free. That's one thing. That's that's pretty safe, and I would say that's extremely safe. And then, what about the label says gluten free, but it's processed in a plant uh, that also has gluten containing products. So when it comes to food, the good news is that uh, you can't get that gluten free label unless you're under what's uh, the threshold that's designated for being gluten free, which is less than 20 parts per million of gluten. So now you might say, well, shouldn't it be zero? Yes, it should be, but uh, the equipment that we have in the US is only sensitive to the 20 part per million and just under threshold. Um, in Europe, I believe this is still the case, it was several years ago where their threshold is under 10 parts per million, which, you know, that's 50% better, so quite a bit. Um, but or 50% less, I should say, so that's great. But in the US, that's, that's just the, the way of it. Uh, now certainly if the ingredients uh, are completely clean and it's processed in a facility that is a gluten-free facility, you're pretty, you know, you're pretty assured that there should be zero gluten. And for some people, that makes a difference. So even though under 20 parts per million is considered gluten-free, there are people that are more sensitive and they can tell a difference. And for these individuals, that zero gluten or uh, food being made in a company that has no gluten in their facility is, is very, very important. So um, that's number one. And then number two, the gentleman asked about uh, alcohol, so asked about beer. So uh, there are different beers on the market. Uh, there's Omission Beer, Two Brothers Beer, and it's interesting, and I'm not a beer drinker. I wasn't <laughs> even when I was eating gluten, so it's never been something I've enjoyed. But uh, for those who really enjoy gluten, these gluten-free beers have been a lovely addition. So um, in that threshold of gluten-free beer, what they've done with a lot of these companies is they still have barley. So there's beer, there's gluten-free beers that have no gluten-containing ingredients, so that's one thing. But in these newer beers, um, the two companies I just mentioned, and there are some others, they actually have barley, but they use a special enzyme to break down the barley such that there are um, no, no <laughs> active gluten uh, proteins left. So that's, that's the theory. Now, these beers say that they're under 20 parts per million, but people still react. Now, do they react? Are those the same people that react um, to anything that's under 20 parts per million? Or, and this is the evidence I learned after being asked this question, so uh, I love how my followers help me learn about new things, is that the FDA, um, the Food and Drug Administration, their criteria for food doesn't really transfer over to alcoholic beverages, meaning um, the, the testing might not be as accurate for alcoholic beverages containing gluten or, or seeing if there is gluten as, as refined as it is for food. So for food, it's pretty refined. We have our stable under 20 parts per million. You can't say you're gluten-free unless you're in that category. But with alcoholic beverages, it's not something that's really been um, worked on as much. And if you think about it, it makes sense. There's a lot more food that, that's gluten-free than, than alcoholic beverages because things like um, you know, wine or hard liquors, they're inherently, because uh, hard liquor is distilled, even if it's made from a grain, uh, distillation just removes all the protein, so you don't have to worry about it. But beer is not distilled, so it's in that kind of gray zone. So if you uh, are trying one of these beers, certainly try the one for sure that has, you know, no, no barley in it. And then if you want to try the ones with barley, just, you know, I hate to say see how you do because unfortunately um, if you're well if you're in the lucky category of being somebody who gets a little gluten and boy you can tell your body does something then sure 
then, you know, see, see how you do. But there's a lot of people that get gluten contamination, they can't tell. And it's sort of more insidious, it's silent, it's still doing damage, but they, they, they don't have overt symptoms that are, that are creating, you know, a, an awareness for them. And so we have to do testing. I just had a young lady recently who knew she was gluten sensitive, she started cheating a little bit, and you know, not, not a tremendous amount, but she's still cheating, and her, uh, she's just sort of not looking as healthy, and you know, we just did a test to, to make sure, and boy, was that test lit up. You know, all over the place, her immune system is saying, I hate gluten, so, but she doesn't feel it, and that's always a lot tougher. So depending on what category you're in, not everybody has the wherewithal to just do blood testing uh, to see, but safest bet is the food that's you know, not processed in a facility that has any gluten, and certainly a beer if you enjoy it, with no barley, and then there's these other options. And again, you can see how you do, and if you have the wherewithal to then do a test uh, to, to check on your immune response, that would be the ideal scene. But as, again, I know that's not possible for everyone. So hopefully that answered it. Uh, I just really wasn't aware of the fact that the FDA's ability to uh, screen for gluten and alcoholic beverages wasn't quite up to uh, the same level as with food. So I'm sure that will come about, but I'm not sure if that's the, the, the highest um, order of priority uh, in, in the world, but at some point I'm sure it'll be there and then, and then we'll know for sure about these beers. But uh, some have been measured as low as three parts per million, some again under the 20 parts per million, but, but then some people are reacting, so you have to make your own best judgment on that. But hopefully this uh, gave my uh, followers some data and all of you some data if you're in the gluten-free arena. And again, if you are, the reason I'm here and the reason I do every one of these videos is to improve your health and that of your family. So if your health is not the way you want it to be, please reach out. Uh, we can do a consultation over the phone. And the telephone number here is 408-733-0400. I'll talk to you soon.